Alright, good morning YouTube. I know this setup is not what you're used to, but guess what? This video is going to be a vlog style. <laughs> so what we're doing today is, well actually this week, yeah this week, <laughs> we're going to be taping all the scents that I wore throughout the week. Um, so what I like to do is call this my little scent diary. It's just going to take you on my little perfume journey throughout the course of a week. I'm the type of person where I always change up my scent, um, throughout a day, two times normally if I'm off, maybe three. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that is what this video is going to be. Just, you know, giving you a little inside look into my perfume world. Hopefully you enjoy my little journey this week. Um, before we start, make sure you are subscribed, honey. Make sure notifications are turned on and be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And you know what? Let's get into it, you guys. <laughs> hello you guys good morning okay i'm popping in to share with you my fragrance of the day and this morning i don't know you guys i just felt like being a whole opulent um <laughs> person as i start running my errands and beginning some tapings today but it is fragrance to wild new york fifth avenue honey let me tell you this fragrance is just, oh, it's just so good. Like, seriously, if you haven't smelled anything from this house, I highly, highly suggest that you do. I just love that it is, you know, this beautiful, but smooth and very easy to wear oud. Um, I think it's got like some violet, a caramel note that sweetens it up just a little. It's not, you know, by any means a super sweet or gourmand type fragrance. But I just really think that, you know, the caramel just comes in at the right moment and just, oh, uh, it just makes it so, so beautiful. I love this one. I need to start wearing it a little bit more um, because, you know, it's really getting colder outside and I feel like it's really going to shine in the colder months. So that is why I am putting it on today. Let me know your fragrance of the day. And I will be checking back in with you guys later. Um, I will probably, of course, have a new fragrance by <laughs> the evening because I love switching up to something totally different at, at nighttime. So I will check back in and let you know what I decided for my scent of the evening. All right. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will catch you in a bit. Hello, beauties. All right. We are back. Y'all literally got me right after work freshened up and I am editing videos but I don't know I'm just the type of person when I get home I'm ready to completely change up my scent so my scent for the evening is Contra Moi by Louis Vuitton this is my first um fragrance from the Louis Vuitton house and I really do enjoy this scent this one is a very different um, kind of vanilla. This has a very herbal element to it. Um, to me, in my nose, I get just some very, very light, leathery nuances. Um, but it's just, it's a beautiful scent. It relaxes me for some reason. I can't remember all the notes off the top of my head, but I think there are like a couple types of vanilla in here, herbal notes. Um, and I just love this scent. I don't wear it enough, I feel like, but I mean, the dent, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm in denial because <laughs> it's a little bit of a dent. I think I've only had this for like maybe a month. Um, so yeah, that is my preference for the evening. And I will check back in with you guys on tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so... I am dog tired this morning, but look, look, we about to get double shot of espresso and we about to get on with our day because we got a lot to do. So <laughs> for some reason, this Fenty uh, perfume is just my go-to 
musk scent when I would just want to run errands or go to the gym. I don't know what it is, but this is a gorgeous scent. All right. Um, I know this one had a lot of mixed reviews when it came out, but this is not anything like a celebrity fragrance. So get that out of your head right now. Um, I think people just had a preconceived notion of what they wanted it to smell like. Um, you know, bitch better have my money type of Rihanna, just bad, bold, um, super sexy, dark, but that is not this at all. And I still like... <laughs> absolutely love it and I think this is a beautiful fragrance this is like blueberry it's Bulgarian rose it's musky um and I am layering it today with this beauty here and this is the K. Ali musk 12 you guys these two together I mean they're just absolutely beautiful they really are um if you want musks that smell like clean and beautiful and just feminine like these are it right here i just really love them and together i just think they're absolutely beautiful so these this little combo here is my scent of the day i am headed out to ulta of course to do some sniffing <laughs> um and a little bit more christmas shopping so i will check back in with you guys um Probably after I get back from shopping because that one, hmm, I may have a new scent of the day <laughs> within a few hours. So I may share that with you. If not, I'll definitely pop back in here in the PM to let you know my scent of the evening. All right, you guys, I hope you have a, a wonderful day and I'll check back in in a few. Hello, lovely YouTube family. All right, I am back right now with my second <laughs> sense of the day. So after errands, um, gym, all that stuff, come home, get another shower in, and this is what I went with. I think this is such a beautiful fragrance and a wonderful gift idea um, for the holiday season because this is just so beautiful it's so likable i am not a huge fan of black currant in a fragrance because it can just get really scratchy on my skin but this one it doesn't do that okay so this is just so beautiful and sweet and um i just think it's a crowd pleasing scent without smelling basic <laughs> if that makes any sense so guys if you are looking for a gift listen she wants Tiffany's, but you can't afford it. You can still afford some Tiffany's for her because <laughs> this is 1.6 ounces, I think, and it retails for like 108. So come on now, Tiffany's. You can't get nothing at Tiffany's for a hundred dollars. Maybe like I don't know. I think even the <laughs> their like pencil holders <laughs> are more than a hundred dollars. It's, it's like you may be able to get one piece of stemware. Okay, that's about it. But this is a beautiful okay beautifully packaged opulent design it's going to look so pretty on her display and guess what it's gonna smell great okay she will love it and you know like i said i love this scent um in the through the bottle here you can actually read the notes so it's black currant it's blue rose and it's amber seeds so it's musky it's fruity I guess I'm in, on a musk kick today because earlier I had on the Fenty, <laughs> which is like blueberry, rose, and musk, and tangerine. And then this one is, you know, amber seed is like a musk. So it's pretty much like black currants, rose, and musk. So not too far <laughs> from what I had on earlier, but definitely very different scents. So again, this one is Rose Gold by Tiffany and Company. Highly recommend you check it out. It's gorgeous. All right, check back in with you guys later this evening for my third <laughs> sense of the day, which is my sense of the evening. And I can tell you right now, it's probably going to be something nice, warm, spicy, and cozy. All right, check you guys later. Hi, you guys. I am back to let you know what my scent of the evening is. And this is Berlin's Mom is Lucy. This scent is so beautiful, okay? So if you are a lover of Mont Guerlain, um, 
you know, the original or the intense, you will love this one because this is pretty much that scent profile added um, with some added toffee and butter notes. And there's also like a candied almond. Um, and I feel like the lavender in it is just a little bit dialed back. It's just a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit more delicate. Um, it's not as strong and in your face as like, you know, the original Mongerlan definitely, but even a little bit more pulled back than the, um, you know how the intense is like really smooth and creamy and it's not as sharp as the original. That is, this one is even more so like, you know, smooth and less in your face. And it's just an amazing <laughs> scent. I just love the way it smells. It's so beautiful and rich and decadent, but not too heavy. Um, it's just a beautiful lavender scent. I mean, just like, you know, my booze, <laughs> my monger lawn. So this again is the beautiful, I love this packaging too. <laughs> this is the beautiful uh, Guerlain's Mon Exclusive. All right, you guys, I will check back in with you tomorrow morning. Y'all, I'm doing this Vlogmas and it is not for the faint of hearts. Let me just tell you that right now. <laughs> I have been filming literally all day and then just got finished editing and it's like almost 11 o'clock. So I guess I'm about to chill for like 30 minutes and take my butt to bed because guess what? I have to do the same thing over again in the morning. So, all right, I will see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, you guys. So last night, I forgot to pop back in. I was so, so busy <laughs> trying to edit videos for Vlogmas, but here we are today, continuing with the Vlogmas work, but um, <laughs> I just wanted to let you know my fragrance of the day, and I actually rated my daughter's collection. You guys, I don't know if y'all remember these, but here are Shuku Lovers by Gwen Stefani. She came out with these adorable perfumes a long time ago, um, probably a couple decades ago. I'm, I know I'm aging myself, but <laughs> this is so nostalgic for me. So I end up finding this one on Makari for my daughter um, because she just is so into like the whole hair Shuku, um, look and style and you know the whole anime like she loves all that stuff everything you know asian she she's just loving it so i got her this and i have no idea what the notes are but i love this scent it is so adorable it's so pretty um actually has quite a bit of complexity to it for such a you know like a cute pretty scent but like I said, I have no idea what the notes are. I will actually have to look them up because um, I am interested to know actually. But I just think this is a beautiful little scent. She loves it. And y'all don't tell her. <laughs> that I snuck into her collection. She is spending the day shopping with grandma. So hopefully she never sees this video. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, and what is this? I think this one is just called G. Yeah, Hair Shuka Lovers G. That is my fragrance for... Um, this morning and I will pop back in with you guys later about to start filming today um so yeah all right I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and I will check you later guys okay I just wanted to pop back in and give you updated information on that fragrance um just in case anyone wanted to know specifically so the name of it is Harashuku Lovers G and it's from the Harashuku line of perfumes um and this is and of course of coconut it's sweet like tonic tropical vanilla powdery and nutty so let's just take a quick look at the notes so it's coconut red apple mandarin orange jasmine freesia magnolia cotton flower and sandalwood oh it's so pretty it is so pretty and it's like i said it's so nostalgic <laughs> When was this made? Oh my gosh. This is like, oh my God, 2008. Wow. Yeah, but okay. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Let me get back to work. Bye. <laughs> hey, you guys. Okay, I'm back for my midday scent of the day. And this one is called Tonka. And it is by Solo Notes Paris. Um, the idea behind a lot of these perfumes is, is supposed to be just like a single note. So if you look on Fragrantica, the notes for this one is just tonka bean. 
and you guys i don't know if you've heard of this or tried it i had never heard of it i was just randomly on fragrantica and i read an article about this house but this is such a nice fragrance and it is like just straight up tonka bean but you're gonna get those like almondy cherry more so almondy nuances um because tonka bean has a lot of cumarin in it and it can start to pull like really almondy or sometimes cherry but this projects <laughs> and this is so beautiful it's got this powdery feel to it um which tonka bean has and to me because tonka bean can range and smell so it can go a little vanilla it can go a little green grassy it can go like you know heavy cumarin but this is definitely on the almondy side of the spectrum and some people were comparing this to lost cherry um i really don't get that lost cherry is a lot more um like cherry liqueur almondy type scent i sprayed them both to just compare on the strip but yeah lost cherry is just a lot more cherry um and to me tonka is just a lot more like you know that tonka bean almondy vibe but this is so beautiful it's powdery it's slightly sweet and the best part y'all seriously <laughs> this thing was 20 dollars. so i am definitely going to be trying some more from this line um i think this is like a 1.5 pounds let me see it is yeah it's like 1.7 fluid ounces and it's $20 and like I said this projects <laughs> this like has longevity and a beautiful sillage like this is crazy I never heard of this but I'm really interested in getting my nose on more of these because um I just want to be able to bring you guys more you know budget-friendly options like everything can't be niche and you know three four hundred dollar bottles <laughs> of perfume and you know what you guys this one is going to be so good for layering so if you want to amp up the tonka this is the one to get i'm telling you and honestly spraying something like this under a lost cherry something with performance issues is totally going to help with the longevity i actually may try that next so the next time I wear this, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do Lost Cherry on top. And I'm going to try to do it on a work day where I know I'm just going to be out for, you know, at least 13, 14 hours because I have 12 hour shifts. <laughs> so I'm going to be going all day. I'm not going to top off anything. I just want to get a true wear to see how it really helps with the longevity of, you know, something with, just you know, performance issues. Lost Cherry, I've grown to actually like the scent, but... It does definitely have pull performance um so yeah i'm gonna try that and i'll check i'll try to remember to check back in and let you know what i think about this and you know what i might just get a few more from this line um maybe do a review on on the line because i was really <laughs> pleasantly surprised by this one again that is tonka and this is auto perform concentration it's from solar notes paris all right check back in with you guys this evening hi guys so i'm dropping in to let you know what my fragrance of tonight will be um going out to one of my best friend's birthday parties so i just want something that i know is going to please the crowd and that will be this baby right here you know how i feel about vanilla <laughs> okay so this one is just oh it's so so beautiful this is lincoln's uh, la nuit treasure a la folie and i was thinking about layering it with um spiritualista wolvini but i'm just gonna wear this by itself i'm always layering this so i'm just gonna let this one shine on its own this, oh my god my polo polo bottle is just dwindling i really wish they made this in a bigger size but yeah this is gonna be my scent for the night i'm about to start getting ready i just had a long two days of filming and editing um content for vlogmas and you guys like for real this is so so exhausting so i hope y'all are enjoying the content i'm enjoying this bottle i'll just keep turning it like this like it's a real diamond or something i don't know <laughs> but yes i definitely enjoy this fragrance this one um it's just such a 
like deep and like somewhat smoky, heavy benzoin um, type of vanilla. It's sweet. It's just perfect. I just, uh, it's just the perfect nighttime vanilla scent. Even though it definitely works, you know, for daytime. This, I feel like it's just so, so nice at night. Um, and it's cold outside, so this is, yeah, this is about to be hitting. I'm about to spray so much on. I just want everybody to smell me before I even get to the restaurant. So that's the goal. I'm about to start getting ready, so I won't be late. I will check back in with you guys in the a.m. And, I, oof, yeah, I got to go back to work tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that, but, yeah. I'll check back in with you guys in the morning and let you know what scents I am wearing. Catch you later. Have a good night. All right, you guys, I'm popping in for a quick, quick moment because I am running late. <laughs> this is my sense of the day, this beautiful Miss Dior 2017 version. I just think this is so well done. I mean, I even love how they did the patchouli in here. This is a floral sheepery, and it's got just the perfect balance of citruses, sweet it's got woody notes and like i said again that patchouli i think this is just such a beautiful classic um fragrance that is such an easy reach um so that's what we put them for today because i just really didn't even have time to think too much about what my fragrance of the day is gonna be <laughs> sometimes i will literally like stew for like five minutes in front of all my perfumes but today i ain't got time so this is what we're going with <laughs> miss dior all right, you guys, have a blessed day, and I will check back in with you this evening. Hi, guys. Let me focus. What's going on with the camera? Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so my scent of the PM is going to be BDK's uh, Tobacco Rose. This one is newer to my collection, so I am still kind of getting a feel for it. Um, so far, I am liking this one. It's a very, um, I would say, like a Deep. why is this camera acting like this what the hell it's a very um deep sensual roll scent um i pick up on a little bit of the chocolate and it's sweet it's good i really do like it um it doesn't have any oud in it but i don't know it's just something like really oriental um and mysterious about this one so i will talk more about this one on my channel um in my upcoming rose fragrance video but yeah this is a beauty again that is a bdk's tobacco rose all right you guys i'm back um i know y'all like damn do you ever leave your desk uh <laughs> i just got home from my regular job which is like i'm usually gone 14 hours from my job my regular day job and just getting home but i didn't vlog this morning because this was my scent of the day <laughs> i just wore this and i just talked about it uh what a couple days ago or yesterday i don't know all the days are running together doing vlogmas but yes um rose gold tiffany co was my scent uh for work but tonight i have not worn this baby in like a few weeks so this is what we are doing for our scent of the evening and it is and by only in between three by kelly um this scent is talked about quite a bit on my channel so it's like a dark cherry um then you have like cinnamon but it's not like a typical cinnamon like you would um have in most fragrances it's a special type of cinnamon um that i forget the name of it but if you look up the notes it is a, it's a different type of cinnamon um that's a lot thinner when you see like the cinnamon roll and, and it actually has a different um, scent. And I feel like a more delicate scent than just like your typical cinnamon that you're used to smelling. Um, but so that cinnamon is in here and there's also, I think like um, a little bit of hazelnut and lots of amber. I think there's a little vanilla in here. Um, what else? I can't remember all the notes off the top of my head, but this is basically like a sexy, spicy, gourmand, ambery scent. And the thing I like about Kelly is everything is just kind of spot on to what they say it is. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you 
you see a name for something and you read the notes and when you smell it, it's like, okay, I was expecting something totally different, like rose prick. <laughs> um, but yeah, so their fragrances are spot on for what they say they're going to be. Amber 23, <laughs> this is a very ambery scent. It's supposed to be rich, gourmand, seductive. That is exactly what this is. Um, yeah, so I do enjoy this. It's that time of year to really pull it out. So I'm going to start wearing this more often um, because I think it is a beautiful fragrance. This is one I feel like you're either going to love it or you're just not going to be feeling it <laughs> like at all. Some people think it smells horrible. Um, I think it smells amazing. So that is my scent for the evening and um uh, supposed to be off tomorrow but of course i'm working an extra job so i'm working tomorrow <laughs> then i have to come home and do more editing for vlogmas so i'm going to check in in the morning with my scent of the day and i hope you guys are enjoying your december thus far i will check back in tomorrow good night okay note to self always turn on the light before you start filming <laughs> um this is the infamous Angelique Noir. I was able to get my hands on a sample. And um, yeah, so these samples are not easy to come by. You always have to buy them from, you know, someone who who personally owns them because I don't think you can get these from the girl on the website, if I'm not mistaken. And they never have, you know, girl on on like scent split or lucky scent so i was really happy to get my hands on this i had to pay i think like 20 bucks for this little vial with the shipping but i mean it's the only way i was going to experience it and i did not want to blind buy anything for 360 dollars so i'm going to test this out and i'm actually going to pop back in and let you know my thoughts so i'll be right back okay so this is a dabber bottle um if you didn't know that but at the opening <laughs> and it is very green uh, this is supposed to be like a green vanilla now I did try the one what is it old dwell by diptyque and that one I like the opening but as it dried down it just turned into a complete um like cardamom bomb and I'm just like negative like everyone seems to love that one but that one was a no-go for me just because like the opening i got all the vanilla but it just dissipated into like literally it's like cardamom <laughs> and that's all i was getting but let's see oh this one is quite beautiful it is very green um Oh my God, but the vanilla is so gorgeous. Y'all, <laughs> seriously, nobody does vanilla like this house. Nobody does vanilla like this house. I'm so sad that I, I don't have like, you know what? I'm probably just gonna dump this into a decant so I can actually spray it. I feel like that is the proper way to, <laughs> to test a fragrance because like you can't, really get the full effect of the perfume by dabbing it on i'm just not a fan of that so that's what i'm gonna do this is my scent of the night angelique noir i'm gonna put this into my little uh three mil decant sprayer and spray myself down and luxuriate because just my initial impression is quite beautiful um i'm definitely getting some components of spirit twist double vanilla like the vanilla is like super smooth and um and it just kind of reminds me of the the same way they did the vanilla in there which of course you know it's no shocker but it's definitely definitely very green and different but i'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a full wear and i will see you guys in the morning so I am back at my desk about to start editing and um, 
my scents of the day. I was going to go with something fresh because I'll just be at my desk working all day. But it's so brisk, brisk and cold outside this morning. I think it's like maybe 34 degrees here in Atlanta. And honey, I picked up this and smelled the cap. And I was like, no, <laughs> we got to go <laughs> with this beautiful sticky sweet ugh, rose oud scent. I'm talking about Lancome's Ooh Bouquet. This is my scent of the day. Um, oh my gosh. I have not worn this in, oh my God, probably like a couple months. So I'm about to douse myself in this and hopefully don't choke myself out. But this is going to make me feel so warm and cozy <laughs> as I work to get these Vlogmas videos edited. So yeah, about to have my coffee and start my work. Hope you guys are doing great and staying warm out there if you are in a colder climate. <laughs> and if not, well, just enjoy your fabulous sunny day. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think this may be the last video um, that I'm able to do before I close this out and edit everything. Um, so until next time, I will see you guys.